Have you ever walked into a room and completely forgotten why you've gone in there? Or smelled a familiar scent that made you think of another time or place in your life? In this video, we'll look at how your memory works. Memory refers to the ability to remember things or to store and retrieve information. This all happens in your brain. Memories are all formed in the cerebral cortex. This is the outer layer of the cerebrum and is the part of the brain that is also responsible for intelligence, language and consciousness. There are different types of memory, such as short-term memory, long-term memory and sensory memory. It is theorized that the different types of memories are stored in neural networks in different parts of the cerebral cortex. Sensory memory is the shortest type of memory. Our sense of organs send an input to our sensory memory, such as what something looks like or smells like, and it's very briefly stored here before being passed on to our short-term memory. It only lasts about one second. Our short-term memory is sometimes called the working memory. It has a limited capacity, so the amount of stuff you can remember, and a limited duration less than one minute long. It's also something you are conscious of. So if you're deliberately trying to remember something, like a set of direction you've just been told or a number plate, you're using your short-term memory. Long-term memory has an unlimited capacity and unlimited duration. Information is permanently stored in this way, although memories can be strengthened by revisiting them, like when you revise for an exam. Our memory is a brain-wide process involving several different parts of the brain working together for example, remembering how to ride a bike involves the memory of how to pedal and steer, how to balance, how to get from one place to another, bike safety rules and maybe memories of those past times you've fallen off. These memories all come together from different parts of the brain. So really, it's better to think of our memory as a neural web connected together by lots of different pathways. Scientists aren't exactly sure how our memory works, although they have proposed several models. Some scientists think we forget things if we don't revisit memories often, and so our brain thinks we don't need them anymore and overwrites them with new information. They think this helps our brain to work efficiently. Forgetting things is a normal part of the working of our brains. However, memory loss that affects normal life may be a symptom of Alzheimer's or dementia. Scientists have learned a lot about the brain by studying people who have brain injuries or diseases. People who suffer from Alzheimer's disease, for example, suffer with the effects of their short-term memory, but not their long-term memory. They may not know which year it is, but they can clearly remember events from earlier in their lives. This shows scientists that short-term and long-term memories work in different ways. Here's a link to a video with more information about dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So there we have memory. It's a brain-wide process in which multiple areas of the brain work together, connected as a neural web. Accidents and brain-related diseases have led scientists to discover that short and long-term memories are encoded and stored in different ways. However, there are many things we are yet to fully understand. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.